Hey, y'all. <laughs> Do that again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hey, everybody. We just got done recording episode 111. Can you believe it? 111 episodes. We had Lauren Douglas from Arinda Leadership on the show. Lauren, <laughs> that was an interesting episode for sure. Just so you guys know, <laughs> it was just like shaking her head. Yeah. She's like, yeah. She's like, I learned more about you guys than I ever cared about. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, so we kind of reversed the roles a little bit. So anybody who, uh, if you want to check out the episode this Monday at 8 a.m., uh, remember to text WHOA GNV to 484848 and you will be notified when the episode gets released. Um, but we, we reversed it a little bit. Uh, Lauren is a leadership coach. And she uh, she coached us. <laughs> and she asked us a lot of questions, a lot of deep, thought provoking questions, and uh, it was awesome. It was really really awesome. I think it's going to be an incredible incredible amount of value to you guys who are listening. Uh, so definitely check it out Monday. Uh, but finally, we get to reverse the roles and ask her questions on this rapid fire side hustle. I'm ready. Here we go. <laughs> uh, Lauren. What color is your toothbrush? White. If and you, blue. And blue. <laughs> the two-tone. If you could buy any type of food right now, what would you buy? Grapes. If a movie was made of your life, what genre would it be and who would play you? Mm. <laughs> Our thought-provoking questions. Uh, Will Smith and something about living within your legacy. Will Smith would play you? Yeah, why That's not? That's so awesome. He's a okay. badass. Wait, can I say that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just did. <laughs> if you could be any animal, what would it be and why? A bird. I love having oversight. Mm. So deep. Oh, is, that, is that your need for control? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's my need for a very large picture. <laughs> <laughs> what is one thing that annoys you the most? Wet towels on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. and, then I, and then I step in it and it's cold. Do you have a favorite cartoon character? Hmm. Okay, this is not deep at all. But do you, you guys remember Beavis and Butthead? Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, that show was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was not allowed to watch it, but did anyway, as, as any kid would do when you're told you can't do something. The first thing you do is go okay. do it. Yeah. Yes. Nah. Um, describe yourself in three words. These are my mm -hmm. deep, thought-provoking mm -hmm. questions. You see how, what I'm uh -huh. doing here? Got it. Uh, insightful, joyful, and thought-provoking. That is so true. Find out Monday <laughs> at 8 a.m. Uh, what is one of your weird quirks? I love planners. If you look at my office, my office is full of books and planners because I have so many different projects going on at the same time that I love having that organization. I have a thousand planners. <laughs> I pretty much tried them uh, all. What is your favorite movie quote? Build it and they will come. Mm. Oh, that's so good. It's such a good movie. Where would you go if you were invisible? I have to cut out these long pauses. I know. Goodness. I'm like, have to make it James's job a lot harder invisible. here. I don't even know where I'd go if I was invisible. Um, where would I go if I was invisible? The White House. Oh, true. Mm -hmm. What is your least favorite beverage? Soda. Just any kind of soda? Mm hmm. The carbon. Don't want to throw a particular brand under the bus or anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, they work. They work hard for that marketing. <laughs> <laughs> really hate tab. <laughs> really. Hate. What is the worst job you could have? Something that's very repetitive. I need creativity. Oh yeah, dude. Mm -hmm. I can't do repetitive. That's why I was saying I don't like working on scooters. I've been working on some scooters lately just because we kind of needed it. And I'm like, oh, I'll get in here and help. No, that stuff, that is tedious work, y'all. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, mad love to anybody who's a mechanic who does the same thing over and over. They like that tedious work. I mean, I know for them it's like a puzzle, you know? Right. Anyway, I'm going on a tangent now. Well, that's why I like working with people because they're, they're continuously <laughs> surprising. <laughs> the things that come out when I ask questions, <laughs> it's just shocking sometimes. Say, say what now? <laughs> like, what was that? <laughs> um, what is your least favorite type of music? 
uh, I love music. I wouldn't say that I have a least you favorite type. Mm-hmm. What's mm-hmm. your most favorite? Is there one that you prefer over another? Yeah, I mean, I really love Avicii, so, you know, dance music, I would say. Okay. I thought you said the Bee Gees first, yeah. and I got really excited. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Go. So, I should have been alive in the 70s, I'm just going to say, because yeah. that was my error. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, whom do you admire most? Teachers. They never get enough credit. They don't sure. get enough credit. Mm-hmm. Mad love to all the teachers that I got to go through this pandemic this year too, man. What a nightmare. Love you guys. <laughs> um, what is your best childhood memory? See how I went for all the thought provoking right, ones right. just based on the episode. Best childhood memory. Um, doing backflips in the outside area, anywhere. Just you do a backflip? Do you still do a backflip? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen how tall I am? <laughs> but when I was a kid, yes. <laughs> okay, cool. What is one item you could not live without? I'm not going to say my phone. I'm not going to say my phone. I'm not going to say my phone. So your yeah. phone? Yeah, my phone. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of phone I, do you have? I am a creature of socialness. <laughs> uh, iPhone. Okay, iPhone 10? Mm hmm. Okay, final question. Mm-hmm. This is the most thought-provoking of them all. Mm-hmm. If our podcast could connect you to one person, who would it be? Oh, that's easy. Who? God. Well, God's always listening. I mean, he's, he's mm-hmm. our biggest fan. <laughs> we absolutely connect you to him. I have some questions for him, so if you can connect me, that'd be great. All right. <laughs> there you go. God, chime in later. Thank you. Since you're listening. (laughs) Since you're listening. listening. Uh, This has been a lot of fun. You guys, again, episode comes out Monday at 8 a.m. You're not going to want to miss it. Very, uh, it was deep. It was thought provoking. It was good. You're going to have to see if Colin cried. Uh, You got to see if I cried. And (laughs) Laura, thanks again for joining us. This is a ton of fun. This is fun. Till the next time, y'all. We will see you later. Have a great day. Bye.